Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I have just started doing um, the bag for Emma's needles. I found a zip in my sewing box. I must have saved this off something. Can't even remember what it was off, but I'm waste not one not. If I've got anything that's no good for anybody, you know, because I do put clothes and things in those bags for um the charity things, but if it's something that's no that's not going to be any good like that, I I must have taken the zip off something and I don't know what it was, but I measured it. Where's the needle? And it's just the right size for the knitting needles the bag so I'm going to do the bag I had some other knits, some other zips ones that um, Kate from the last homely house sent to me but they were a lot shorter than this so it would have meant if I'd put one of those in you could have still used it the same way but the, um, the opening wouldn't be the full length of the, um, the needles so this one was better because I was having to clear out my sewing box <laughs> It's one of those concertina ones, you know, you pull the part, the things apart. There's that much stuff stuffed in it. I was having trouble shutting it, so I thought I'd better sort it out and see what's in and found that zip in the bottom. It's probably been in there for years. So anyway, that's handy for um for that. So I've started here. I think I've started off with 46. I'm just using two strands, the grey and the um the white. I was just using up the this wool. The, the grey is nice when it's mixed with the white, but I don't like it on its own. It's not a, a really, a ni it's not a nice silver grey. It's like a, um, a gunmetal type, that sort of grey. And why it goes nice with the white, but I do not like it by itself. And I had one or two balls and I thought I'm, I'm not going to knit anything, sweaters or anything with it. So that's what I would come in handy for doing these sort of things. As you can see, it does look nice when it's mixed in with the um, the white. So I've got a strand of white and a strand of that. And I started off with 46. Yes, 46. Take that hook out a minute. I started off with 46. And it's just a little bit a little bit longer than the, um, the zip but you know your crochet as you do do this it does sort of narrow it starts off it was a lot longer than that there was a lot more than that spare at the, um, the end when I first started it but it does come it does pull in tight when you're crocheting just doing it I'm just doing a square and then I'm just going to fold it and stitch it and put the zip the zip in put the lining in first and then put the um, the zip in. So that's all. I'm just doing double crochet. If you're in the United Kingdom, I think it's single crochet. If you're in um, United States and Canada and some other countries, but um, that's all. That's all I'm doing for um, for that. I think that's the best stitch for these sort of things. Um, anyway, you don't want something that's got a lot of holes and that in. You know, you don't. I know it'll have a lining in, but um, I think it still needs some support, so that's the best stitch for that. So that's what I'm doing for that. And I have been knitting. I haven't done very much knitting the last couple of days, as I have been on my computer writing out PDFs, and they do take a long time. So I started this a couple of days ago, actually, but I've only just really picked it up again. So I've done the back. And the, um, it's uh, the double moss stitch. I've done the back and the two fronts and I'm nearly finished. The first sleeve, I've only got a few more stitches left to get down to on the, um, on the sleeve and then I'll have that finished and that'll be ready for my shop. When I get the um, special offer from um, AB that they give me, it usually, usually comes up on a Friday every fortnight that's the way it's been lately my glasses are rather dirty um, i've got some proper things for cleaning them but i'm looking at the thinking my 
screen is a bit blurry but it starts my glasses probably me with my i probably had cream on my fingers and then touching my glasses and it's went on names i'll just wait in with these for now oh that's better i can see better now <laughs> i wish i didn't have to wear glasses i didn't until i was about 40 that was when my eyesight started getting worse <laughs> i'm having a cup of tea as well before it gets cold So I have finished two of my PDFs that I was doing. This is the this is 16 to 24 inch, the V-neck, the mock rib one, that one, and that one. And it's in my, you know, the, the, the little folder. That's the way I print them out. And I'm not putting these up. They are going on to AB, but I'm not putting them up until... I'm waiting until Friday to see if I get that offer on um, AB, the same as the, the little cardigans um, that I'll have. I'm waiting until um, to see whether that comes on. But if it doesn't come on, I'll just put them up on Friday anyway. Because it'll only make, probably only make a difference of about 20 something pence, but that 20 pence is better in my pocket than in AB's pocket. <laughs> and then I have done the 22 to 28 Rosebud lace. These are ones that I had a lot of single patterns in and I've deleted all of those patterns and I'm changing the numbers on these. I'm doing them as I'm doing the the, um, the ones with multiple sizes in. I'm changing the numbers on the, um, the PDF. So this one is number five, I think. This is the fifth. This is the fifth one I've done. That was the fourth one and the other ones that I have done, um, you know, the blackberry one with the um, the little hat and cardigan and the two colour little cardigan and the moss stitch and the, oh, the small rosebud one. The small rosebud one was the first one, but I have a lot more I'm going to do, but it's took me a couple of days to do these, to sort them out and then printing them all out. But the longest thing took me was this printing the the thing on top of the pattern i have to go into the, um, a program you know everybody probably gets it on their computer called paint and you can do that on there you can print these things over i put the picture up and print this and be trying to get that picture to go into the my computer after i had done the paint after i'd finished it it has to go into my computer so I can make a PDF just of the picture itself and then I'll join all the PDFs together. That P, that, that's a PDF, a separate PDF. That's a separate PDF and then the pattern in the middle. And then I have to do all three of them, put them through a process to put them all, to merge those three PDFs together. Well, I wanted that one with the size, so it's the size on the outside of the, um, the pattern. And could I help remember how I did that the last time? <laughs> It took me, it's taken me hours. I kept trying different things and I worked it out eventually. Um, what you do is when you've got it finished, you take a screenshot from your actual picture there on the paint and it goes into a, um, a folder in your computer. But I was trying, trying to take a screenshot before I had taken, you get when you have this on the page, you have like little dotted lines all the way around and little markers here, so you can move it up or down or across or whichever. And I was taking the screenshot while they were still on and it was coming up. It's just the ordinary picture without the writing, you know, and it took me ages to realize I had to take those dotted lines and those little markers off before it would actually put this with the writing on. So I wrote down exactly what I did this time. So because I've done this a few times, I just couldn't for the life of me remember how to do it. But it's done now anyway. <laughs> and they'll be ready. Um, the PDF, anyone that wants one can send for them now. Uh, the PDFs are all ready. Just the printed patterns are going on to AB. So I will be selling these for £2.50, the same as all the other patterns that I've been um, selling. And I have been around all over my house looking for bits of cord. Any kind of cord. I've been cutting cardboard boxes up and everything to put into the, the shape, to put inside the pattern. Because when you post them, 
if I put them in just an ordinary envelope, the way that, oh, they could just be, you know, the postman folds things and shoves them through your letterbox. So I have to put a bit of card in the middle so to make sure it doesn't get folded over. And I used I cereal boxes. I've been saving cereal boxes for probably for a long time for my orders. When I send out little cardigans and things like that, I put a, um, one of the sides of the cardboard boxes in to stop that from flopping about as well. Well, I had a lot of those, but I used all of those for all the patterns that I've sold. So I've been hunting all around my house for any kinds of bits of cardboard that I can cut out for to put inside those patterns because I know I'm going to sell a lot of them. The same I did with the other ones. I didn't realise how popular they were. So I used up all those bits of card. Now I've been looking online for, um, you can buy the envelopes with the card already on. Some of them, I've been looking at them, but they are quite expensive. I would have to put the price of the patterns up if I was to, um, to buy things like that. But anyway, I found quite a lot of boxes, so I'm getting rid of a lot of cardboard boxes that <laughs> were mounting up in my bedrooms. I have two spare bedrooms and there was a lot of boxes in those rooms. I've been cutting them up the right sizes. That, um, I think that A, I'm not sure, I don't know that A5 or A6, this size, I'm not sure where it is. Any, anyway, I've been cutting them up to measure them around the, um, the pattern, so I've got plenty of them at the moment. I'm telling my granddaughter to save all her cereal boxes for me and because uh, she uses more than I do. The cereal box of cereal probably lasts me a couple of weeks so uh, all I would get was two bits of card out of them because um, the size of my boxes I only get one, one off each side of the, um, the box. But anyway. And yesterday I had some Happy Meal. But I was that busy with the, um, what I was doing on my computer because I was all day yesterday as well printing out those um, PDFs and I had done the, um, the mock rib one first and I had already started a little bit on the rosebud one. I thought I'm going to do that one as well. I'm going to finish the two of them and then I can get them both up because sometimes people buy two patterns and if they buy two patterns it only costs me one envelope and one stamp. And I actually get more off eBay when I sell two than I do selling one. So that's where I thought I'm going to put both of them up together. But anyway, I got this happy meal and I don't know who it's from, who it's from, but I think it could maybe be Lynn. I'm not certain, no, because there's nothing in it to see. It's um, from eBay. I think it was from, well, the invoice inside says eBay. It's AB Fabrics Online. This has come from when I was doing the bag and, and on about the... Um, I do have a lot of those what you call fat squares, but they weren't long enough for to do it all in one piece on the, um, the bag I was doing. So somebody's noticed that. <laughs> They've sent me <laughs> a metre, I think it is, is a metre. I could make a, um, a blouse thing with this for myself, never mind putting them in a bag. I like that one, the flowered one. It's a lovely one, that one. It's quite a big piece. I'll unfold it. I could get a pair of curtains out of that. <laughs> for my bath, my, my little toilet upstairs, does my toilet downstairs, I mean, does need a pair of curtains. <laughs> so that's the bluey flowered one and this one says leopard print on the um the thing i'm not going to open that one right up i've shown you the other one it's a little leopard print um but they'll come in handy for if i need a large piece like i'm seeing those bags if i do any other ones i'm not very happy about doing those like putting linings and things and like that because they do take a bit of work and like that one, I could not sew it on my sewing machine. But if I do any, any other ones, I'm going to make the wool thinner so that I can sew them on the machine. But they'll come in handy for little other little bags and things that I do. So I don't know who sent this. If it was you, Lynn, thank you very much. Comes in handy. <laughs> now, I know everybody, they listen to what I say on my videos. <laughs> that, I think that's lovely of people what they do, you know. I keep saying to my granddaughter, um, 
I keep telling her, you know, I said, I just have to mention something that I need something. And before I know it, there's a postman knocking at the door with the um, the thing. And uh, I said to her, you know, I could do with a million, I could do with a million pounds. I'd like to be a millionaire. Anybody got a spare million? Please send it to me, will you? I'm finishing my cup of tea and I it's going to get cold. And I'm going to do a little bit more crochet because it's just four o'clock now. And I'm crochet. I do tiny little baby ones in the morning. After lunch, I do the crochet, but I was still doing that. Those PDFs. I've just finished the um the PDF, so and I picked up the crochet about an hour ago. <laughs> it took me all all day yesterday and up until about half past two to three o'clock today to do the um the PDFs. But they're done. But I will be having more because there's be this one. I've got only two more sizes to knit with that one and I'll do a PDF for that one and I might do a PDF for the baby blankets that I've been doing. I have one um, one small PDF with just one blanket on but um, I might do another PDF because I've done two different types of blankets up to um, now and put maybe smaller sizes on as well as the larger size. That'll be a little bit easier to work out actually. But when I printed this, when I print my patterns out, you can't really see the, um, the size of the print on there, but I use a print, a certain kind of print, and I have it at size 14. Well, when I was doing this one, I know that this one's got a lot more instructions in it, and I wanted to make sure that I could get it all in the two pages, which I did have a little bit left over, so I changed the print to size 12, so it is slightly smaller, but I can see it no trouble at all wearing glasses. If I take my glasses off, it's just a big blur like, but anyone who's got good eyesight doesn't need to wear glasses, they will be able to see the print no trouble at all. But if you have to wear, you wear glasses, you probably need glasses um, for it. But I could do them with, um, and not put a, a picture on the back. I could leave it so just in case anything does take a long, you know, take more than those two pages inside so I could finish it off on the um, the back. But I do like to put a, a couple of pictures, <coughs> a picture on both sides of the pattern. And I've even learned to make the, um, the pictures a bit larger so they fit the whole sheet instead of a little picture across the middle. That was something else I had to learn to do as well. So anyway, that's my little bit to keep in touch with everybody today so thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you all another time so bye for now and don't forget if anyone wants any of those two patterns pdfs just ask my email they are there ready